and happy belated Thanksgiving, everyone. It's the Saturday after Thanksgiving. We're pretty worn out, but uh, the cooking never stops here. We gotta keep on going. Um, in fact, today, it's a very warm day outside here in Texas. We're probably about 75 degrees. We had some storms roll through this morning. Um, it's gonna be pretty today, and I think our cold front's gonna come in tomorrow. So, for our meal for tomorrow night, and uh, Monday, and probably for some lunch at work, I'm going to make a great, hearty 15 bean soup. Um, I've already got my Instapot going right now. This is uh, a chicken in here. I'm also gonna make a uh, bone broth from my chicken bones. You need to go back and check that recipe out. It is so good for this time of year for your immune support, for stomach issues. Um, anyway, so go back and check that video. So as soon as this chicken finishes here, I got about 20 uh, more minutes, I'm gonna start my hearty 15 bean soup uh, recipe. It's going to be absolutely delicious tomorrow when it's much cooler outside. Let me show you what I got going on here that's going into my hearty bean soup recipe. I have about uh, two pounds, maybe one and a half pounds of smoked sausage. I have a half of a yellow bell pepper diced, a half of a carrot chopped, a half of an onion chopped, and a stalk of celery chopped, and then a clove of garlic. And I'm using the Cajun flavored uh, 16 bean soup mix from Kroger. I don't know if I'm gonna use the Cajun mix yet. Um, I'll taste it as it goes through and we'll see if we're gonna add it at the end. And then I have my beans soaking here. The rest of the fixings I got here is for my bone broth that I'm gonna do in the Instapot after I finish my beans. But I've got uh, onion, I have celery, I have carrot, and I have a clove of garlic. I will also add a bay leaf to it. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that recipe um, because you guys can go back and watch it, but I'm telling you, you got to make this stuff, especially for winter time, for flus and colds. It is just absolutely a necessity. My chicken's done, everybody, and so I've just put a little dash of olive oil in the bottom of my Instapot, and I have set it on saute. So now we're going to put the onions in there, the celery, the carrots, and the yellow bell pepper. And we're gonna saute this up a little bit and then we'll add the garlic, but we want to wait and add the garlic last because the uh, garlic will start to burn if you put it in there with everything else. So let's saute this up. You can hear it sizzling quite well and there's just something about the sautéing of fresh vegetables. We do use all organic. Um, you don't have to, but we that's what we choose to do. And you can uh, cook this on your stove top or in a crock pot. Either way is fine. I would suggest that you sauté your vegetables before adding to the crock pot though, and then uh, add all the rest of your, uh, your ingredients in there. And it will be just as yummy. We're using an Instapot. This is something I got new. I'm here recently, and I've used it a billion times already, uh, mainly for cooking chicken and rice. We've had a couple of little sick doggies, and so they are on a strict chicken and rice recipe, and it really helps me do it much quicker than on the stove top. I'm able to cook the whole chicken probably in less than an hour, and um, then the broth that I use, or that comes out of the chicken, I just throw my rice in there after that and cook that up. So this is looking really good. We're going to saute it a little bit longer before we add the garlic. Okay, we've sauteed this a couple of minutes. Now it's time to add our garlic. This ain't going to take long to saute this up with the garlic. Guys, it smells really good. Got the garlic sauteed in there now. I'm going to add our smoked sausage. Ooh, wait. Smells so good. So we're gonna saute this up a little bit. And then I'm gonna add uh, some of my homemade chicken bone broth. Again, go back and check out that recipe. 
smelling so good. I could eat this just by itself right now, but now I'm going to add some of our homemade chicken bone broth. And it's got some fat in it, which I'm fine with. Mmm, smells delicious. Then I'm going to add water in my beans, and we're not going to exceed this pressure cooker max. Okay, we've added our beans and our water. And you can see, I did not exceed the pressure cooker max. You don't want to do that in your Instapot. Um, in dangerous territory there with a pressure cooker so you want to be sure and follow the instructions of your Instapot. We are using a six quart. Um, they do have eight quarts which is what I got my daughter for Christmas. She already knows that so I can tell you that. Anyway so now I'm going to stir this about. I'm going to add some salt and pepper and uh, we're going to pressure cook this for about 40 minutes. Hang tight. I've added my pink Himalayan salt and my pepper, and I wanted to tell you that I soaked the beans probably about two hours. Um, so you can uh, soak them or, or not soak them. If you don't soak them, you'll have to cook it a little bit longer. But uh, since we did soak ours for about an hour and a half, two hours, we're going to pressure cook this for 40 minutes on high pressure. Let's put the lid on. We've taken it off saute, and now we're just gonna hit the bean and chili button. We are locked and loaded. Make sure your lid is locked down. And we are gonna go up to 40 minutes. If that's not enough when we're done, we will put it back on and go to town. Make sure that your vent is closed here. So let's see what happens in about 40 minutes, folks. Check back with you when it's done. It's ready to go. The Instapot has gone from on to 34 minutes. It started at 40 minutes. I can't wait to taste them. Okay, the old Instapot has kicked off. When it goes to L and the zero one, that means that it was uh, done one minute ago and it's sitting on low. So we're gonna release the pressure and you just turn your valve. You wanna make sure and do this, guys. You don't want to open it up without all the pressure being gone. You may notice I turn that valve away from my cabinets. My cabinets are wood, and you really don't want steam constantly going up on your cabinets. It'll start to discolor them, and uh, depending on what your cabinets are made out of, you want to be real careful that they might uh, delaminate. So make sure you set your steam valve away from anything. Steam's still coming out of it, so I'm going to hit cancel because we want to turn off all the heat. We don't want any going on uh, the inside before we take the lid off. Okay, she's cooled down. We're going to open her up and see what they look like and give her a taste. Woo-wee! Looking good! Oh! Looks really wonderful. Look, you guys. The beans didn't break down. They're perfect consistency. The sausage looks fantastic. The vegetables look good. Now, we did a lot of the water because we like it more like a bean soup. If you wanted to make them more thicker, you would just do a little less water. But looky here. So let's give them a taste. Looking pretty good in there. We're gonna take a taste. Ooh, they're hot. Perfect. These are absolutely perfect. Didn't need to add the Cajun seasoning. You can just add a little bit of salt and pepper. And if you wanted to add the Cajun seasoning, you can. I'm choosing not to, but I can't tell you how delicious these are. We will enjoy these tomorrow and we will enjoy them for uh, my work lunches next week. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, we ask that you hit the little subscribe button and you uh, stay in tune to other videos that we're putting up and that you you see that? And that you also click the like button. So Miss Bear wants a bite of these beans. I'm going to have to turn around so she can't get them. But anyway, thank you for watching. Take care. God bless. And uh, we will see you in between now and Christmas with lots of other great recipes.